Why is the headlight <laughs> washing thing backwards? See the cover? Oh my it's god. It's backwards. This thing is nuts, bro. I, I feel like a peasant now with my E90, bro. <laughs> okay, oh my okay. god. I'm sorry, bro. You gotta get roasted on this one. Ah, uh, that just steering wheel is just arse. Stop saying turbos and stop saying downpipes. It's one downpipe. Bro, but it's twin power, dog. I don't think water is supposed to get inside your engine. All right, guys, so this is a new video style that we've been working on for a while. We're gonna be raiding and possibly roasting your BMW builds. This guy's gonna be roasting <laughs> for sure. <laughs> anyways, Watch out for this guy. Anyways, if you are new here, my name is Christian. You got Ali here from the Swap People YouTube channel. Yes. And we have Ike, AKA the cameraman. Yes. That's the new guy to the team. That's me. But anyways, we're gonna go look through your submissions here that you guys sent over to us. And if you guys wanna be possibly included in a future video, you can submit your car build to submit your build at vehiclevirals.com. Include a minimum of five pictures, a small backstory, and not necessary, but a video link would help for content purposes. And uh, you might actually end up being on the next video being roasted by this guy. <laughs> Further ado, let's go ahead and go through the long list that we have of cars. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, we're gonna just move on. 19T right. Chinese turbos. Yeah. All right, I like where this is going already. Not a lot of E6535 <laughs> builds. Here's my E6535 VIV 19T turbos. Ooh. Chinese, I know, but wastegates have been properly adjusted and turbos have been properly balanced as well. Snow performance meth injection via intake manifold plate. I didn't know that people still actually do that. Meth? Yeah, that's sick. It probably doesn't have E85 nearby. Full custom exhaust, 6 HP, 28 swap. Tune in by Doc Vu, estimated around 580 wheel horsepower. Dang. That is very dope for an E60. It's kind of looking like a sleeper too, bro, with the... I'm with hoping the that's the stock bumper. picture up front. Anyways, when I first got the car, I just plan on keeping it as stock daily driver. Of course, we all know how that goes. Yes, we definitely know how that goes since then i have done my best to create a sleeper 5 series there you go bingo hey this one has a snippet of spinning through second on warm streets and on a cold start definitely sounds like an 54 why is the car why did the car sound like a duck Ooh. remember i had that same problem god damn that shit sound good. That thing is scooting, bro. Bro, <laughs> that shit is saucy, bro. Hell yeah. Props, I, I like that. It sounds that. really good. Seems like you've taken care of stuff the right way. Let's take a look at some pictures here. Well, he's uh, he went for the sleeper look and I think he nailed it. <laughs> Man, double slat grills. Double yeah. slat grills, baby. <laughs> is this like a every car fucking thing? That's the sleeper uh, package right there. Whoa. Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Is I that? gotta get a hard one for that one. <laughs> bro, think about it. There's I'm really nothing there. The sleeper bill? I like this. I like this a lot. That's a move. I, I like this a lot. I'm sorry, I can't stand that front bumper on E60s. That's the whole point, though. I'm, I'm but that's saying. the point. It's a sleeper. It looks like a frog. I, I get it. I get it. it just it look. Just look at the badge, bro. That's the ultimate sleeper mod here. <laughs> Let the badge. Look at the green. badge. You put a greaser on that. <laughs> <laughs> The mismatch wheels. Yeah, that kind of takes away from the whole sleeper idea. Right. At least the fitment's on point, though. I think it's because they're flatter in the front. Well, yeah, because the rears are concave more. Yeah, so you have more of an aggressive fit back here. Front pancake spec. That's hey, good. props, man. I, I like, like the I like the E60. I really like that a lot. I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of the sleeper builds. Raven G87 M2. Uh-oh. Part of the reason I got the car is because I watched your YouTube videos. I came from a rough background, so getting this car was a huge step up in life. And in July, my sister passed away due to suicide and she loved my car, so now I'm building it for her. I'd love any criticism or tips to make my car better aesthetically and performance wise. Thanks again. Sorry to hear about that. I'm glad to have a G87 M2 submitted for this video. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't think we were gonna get one. He gonna be biased over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyway, mod list. STEC USA Stealth PPF, AST adjustable lowering springs. Yes, sir. 
CSF trans cooler, CSF oil cooler, CSF heat exchanger. It's got the whole cooling package. Dude's not, you know, he's not, he's not, he's not being cheap, dog. All right, let's get to the photos. Damn. Damn. What's up with those stock intakes, though? Those need to go. But the engine bay from here looks like candy, and that's just the last bit of uh, nastiness that exists on there. I do really like those stroke races. For the G87 M2, I've always said this when they were first introduced, the car just looks better in all black. The, like, the weird square, the Porsche look, or all that stuff kind of hides and blends into like the, the color of the body, and it just looks way better. I'm a big fan of the Stealth PPF too, right? So it protects the car, and it also gives it a frozen look, so big fan of that. I think it looks good with those wheels, to be honest. I wonder why he ran 20, because I ran 18 millimeter in the back and 15 in the front, and I thought that was perfect. 20 seems a little excessive. And the only reason I say that is because look at the rear and look at the front. Like the front clearly looks a little bit more pushed in. Yeah, a little bit precise. Like it doesn't look leveled in a way for me. So I would I would try the 18 in the back, personally, if you're gonna keep the stock wheels. Uh, titanium hardware, where well, he went with like a chrome or brushed look. That looks really dope as well. Oh. Keep the steering wheel though. Dang. That's really dope like looking. That. All right, so next M440. Car, 2021 BMW M440i X Drive mods. Muffler delete. Yes, I know. Flame me. <laughs> Go ahead. Flame them. It's just ours. OEM BMW mag carbon fiber trip, trip pieces. pieces. Oh, yeah. To pieces. M4 comp rep wheels. Alcantara wheel wrap. Flame me one more time. I can tell you, we just talked about the damn <laughs> steering wheel wraps. But anyways, black badge and M4 mat M stem caps. Yeah, the stem caps. <laughs> hey, the if it came out of the BMW catalog. I don't give a f that's I'm shit. just saying. It is not it. I'm just saying. Bought the one from auction with 10,000 miles on it. I put about 26,000 additional miles on the car before the trans gave out. What? Dealer replaced it under warranty, claiming it had an internal fault. Drove another 10,000 miles or so, and someone sideswiped me on the freeway. Okay. Insurance paid out 32,000 to fix the car. I plan on getting the car tuned, or I might just sell it and get a G82 X Drive. Overall, been a fantastic two years besides the transmission and the numb nut on the freeway. <laughs> Haven't heard that word in a while. Uh, I'm gonna uh, say get a G82 because the depreciation value of this car is probably like horse. the bottom of the barrel right now because uh, it's a four series for one and it's been crashed. Why does this actually look pretty good? M440s in general, like I'm not a big fan of what O'Connor's car looks like in the front and I think it's because this guy has the shadow line fucking trim. Could use some DRLs. Okay, oh my okay. God. I'm sorry, bro. You gotta get roasted on this one. Ah, uh, that the steering wheel carpet. is just arse. Wait, I don't even know how you gr grip that. Are those trims wrapped or is that real carbon? What's up with that? Does stripe. it matter? He wrapped the steering wheel the with trip. additional material. What's up with that stripe? That shit looks like ass. I'm sorry. Brother, I'm normally the nice guy here. <laughs> the strip is fatter on the top than the bottom portion of it. I can see the inner stitching popping out to the front section because it wasn't done correctly. Sorry if you did it. They, it's uh, twice as thick and it's probably not very good to, to handle. The matte trim on the center looks faded and cheap. It's okay, we can get you right. We have hey, those steering wheels I was gonna stock. say, we have a few of those on the rack. Is the trim that he used on the center though, is that like a factory? Cause I'm talking about know. it. Cause maybe it looks that way cause of the picture. It kind of looks like it might be the wrap stuff. If it was wrapped, it was done well. Cause I can't really tell. It, you know, apologies if that's the factory stuff and just the picture makes it look washed out. Other than that, oh, it is a six and six. Look at the wheels, dog. <laughs> Not huge on that. You know, at a glance, it kind of looks like a M4. <laughs> <laughs> the fitment is horrible. Obviously, you need some some springs or <laughs> the fitment or is horrible. On, but. How do you guys feel about the front lip, though? I like the front lip. Yeah, I think it looks good. This yes. well, M440s in general just require something up front as far as the front lip because they look atrocious. Yeah, it, it. it definitely needs a, a lip to unify everything up front. Um, I, I fucking love the driver gray, man. That's definitely one of my favorite BMW colors. Sure. So the one thing I hate about these cars, I noticed that their, their rear trunk badges are much bigger. It doesn't even look like it came from factory. It looks really bad. It's a small detail, but I've noticed it before. Yeah, it's got a camera underneath it. Well, there's the engine bay, guys. Dang, he's got the dining strut braces or what? At least Andy that's Black. a good thing, right? That he replaced the, the strut tire braces because well, those, those were like, normally silver as well. Yeah, those look like ass. They look like they came out of a junkyard. I had a build bottom end, E-Series M55 and 38 PSI, 6466 manual car. Just as the build in, tune and finish up, I hydroplaned on the interstate straight up 90 degree across three lanes. 
Ditch flipped a few times. Studio RSR cage kept the roof from caving in. Killed the car, but the drive chain was still fine. That happened Friday night. The following Wednesday, I bought home this 2011 335IS. I had the total car and the new car next to each other. Swapped a lot of parts from the old car into the new. Still running the N55 EOS intake manifold on the new N54. Oh. Car is currently DME attached to it. <laughs> Lots of hours and attention to detail. Sometimes the build is almost more fun than the drive. Jeez Louise, bro, that's a lot of mods. God damn. Okay, so just go look at the pictures. That is fucking goals right there. Like if you had like unlimited amount of money and resources, this is it. This is on point. The splitter looks good. Everything, at, at least in this picture, the cosmetics on the car is perfect. This thing is nuts, bro. I, I feel like a peasant now with my E90, bro. <laughs> Here's interior, uh, F80 seats, Shakira orange. Comp seats, no less. Comp, Comp seats, yeah, seats. even more expensive and harder to find. Anyways, here's the engine bay. Oh my god. By the way, he kept the bottom portion of the of the cowl. It looks like the Turner cowl again. But that's the right way to do it. Big old fat turbo. Bro, that intake manifold looks like, looks like the sauce, bro. Uh, Super clean, bro. This looks like very performance oriented. Looks like go. Could take it to the track and drive it there, drive it home, no problem. This looks really good. Thing. Big fly brand catch can. This is when he was talking about the, the intake manifold that you guys were a little bit confused. Yeah, he's probably, he probably has a block off underneath or he's still running an N55 DME in there to keep the air inside. <laughs> Cause it's got a big- Yeah, when I saw that I was, I was a little confused. Yeah, I mean, everything looks freaking clean here. There's really, there's nothing to say. All right, so we got a 2010 BMW 328i, no backstory, just a few pictures I guess we can look at. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. First, that fucking lip is atrocious. Second, non M Sport bumper, atrocious. Third, those wheels are fucking atrocious. <laughs> I, I'm sure it's got double slide grills, fucking atrocious. I don't What's going on with the headlights? What the fuck is up with the headlights? Why is it fucking yellow and white? I like white? the yellow on the outside. Is that light bleeding off the top of the eyebrow? No, it's fucking yeah, halo. Yeah. Halo on the one side is yellow. The other side's like seafoam green. All right, next picture. Oh my God. <laughs> Bruh. Wait a minute, it's not <laughs> Double point. slack grills. Again, that front lip is f***ing ugly as f Why is the headlight <laughs> washing thing backwards? See the cover? Oh my it's God. It's backwards. My dude. The alignment on the front bumper and the reflector is running out of double-sided tape here. Those headlights are oh. clapped to that You can't even see at night. I know that for a fact. Fix your damn f***ing headlight washing system cap. You just flip it over. Take that front lip off. I can't. This is next. My name is Eric, been a very long time viewer of the channel since before I even bought my car in 2020. I made up my mind and got a job at Walmart and saved up for about a year, then pulled the trigger and bought my car for $8,000. I guess you're right. They're around six to eight thousand dollars for those cars now. And I've done literally all the work, engine and cosmetics with my friends on my driveway, pissing my neighbors off. VRSF inlets, VRSF outlets, downpipes, oil catch can, upgraded Teflon seals for cam ledges. What? Huh? Okay. You know, I, he's talking about the seal in the front of the cam. Yeah, well, you know, N54s had problems with cam ledges, blah, 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 Venus. We already know that. All right, let's take a look at this. Wait, you can do that. Hey, what's up with that uh, cow cover? Where is that? Yeah, Have you ever so. seen blue zip ties to match? Hey, it matches the cover. Those are, those are anodized. Filters. I'm just going to say this right now. Uh, your injector five and six, yeah. uh, spark plug coil, those dining brand new coils that you put on Safety are uh, just getting, you know, shafted by water. <laughs> just saying. You might want to put on a cover, the stock one. There's a reason why BMW puts that thing for all you E9X people. By deleting this, uh, you're not doing any good for the car. The tray underneath is there to divert water away from your engine. I don't think water is supposed to get inside your engine. It's a clean exterior. It's not bad. It's, a it's not what I expected deep. after seeing the engine bay. The Again, you've got the grill in front of the intercooler, big plus. Yes, he does have that there. A lot of people don't do that. I don't know why. Carlos. All right, that's a clean build. It looks clean. Just gotta work on that engine bay, especially the cowl filter situation. Okay, so we got e pictures. Hey, what's up? Big fan of your vids. I've been watching you since the E92. 
correction, E93. You're awesome, dude, literally living my dream. Nothing too crazy on this build. It's still a work in progress. I've had it for about six months, but I'm on the way to be the cleanest 540i in the world. Yes. That's a big statement. <laughs> it is. List of mods, VRSF 4.5 inch downpipes, MHD stage two tune, lowered on coilovers, M mirror caps, can I continue reading? M mirror oh, caps. Wait a minute. <laughs> Singular downpipes. Okay, so let's just, let's just say this. A 540 comes with the B58. What is the B58? It has one turbo. Stop saying turbos. And stop saying downpipes. It's one downpipe. Bro, it's but, twin power, dog. Yeah, I've seen it many times on Facebook. Uh, uh, N20 twin turbo. I'm like, <laughs> what are you talking about? It's one. It's one downpipe. It's powered by the twins. If you install it yourself, you'll know it's one downpipe. Let's take a look at your car. Murdered out. It's going for the Batman look. Okay. Are those the factory tail What's up with those tips? The Why do they look like this? Or the factory tail lights. You're a little ashy. I bottom. will say this, the 540 looks great from the outside, but the inside lacks a lot. For a luxury car, it looks cheap as well. I mean, it looks dope, but especially this picture. I'm a I big fan of this one here. Great, I think honestly. this looks great. It looks I mean, good. Also, gas station pictures always look really good. Yeah. But it, looks low, it looks good lowered. It's obviously tinted the fuck out because the Look at the windshield. windshield. Is, <laughs> it's like 0%. Looks like they painted black. Like it. it needs some wheels and a front lip. Now, so this is actually a really good starting point, man. I, I like the, I, I like it. There's a lot of potential with this car. Uh, you didn't include any pictures of the interior, and I don't know how much you can do to that. But the exterior is where these cars definitely went for sure. Please tell me it's not Kaka spec interior. <laughs> Maybe that's <laughs> why he dark be, the tents. That would be sad. <laughs> Christian from the future here. We actually filmed us reacting to 14 different cars, but it was gonna make the video way too long. So I decided to split it into two different parts. Part two should be out within a week or so. So if you guys do not wanna miss out on that, make sure to subscribe. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, hit the like button so we know to continue to make it. And of course, if you're not afraid to get roasted, make sure to submit your build, to submit your build at vehiclevirals.com for a chance to be featured in one of these episodes. Make sure to cop some of the new merch. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.